On a screen above me, a hundred faces are displayed one after the other. I have to score them for beauty out of eight. Now, here's the weird part. After each score I give, the screen shows me how other people rated that face. 20 minutes later, Vasily shows me the inside of my head and explains his testing had nothing to do with beauty and everything to do with those red bits in my brain. So, in fact, uh, this experiment was about social conformity. We were interested how much actually you change your opinion in line with others. So I thought there was something fishy going on, because I, I was trying to figure out why were you showing me what other people were thinking? Basically, we hypothesize that whenever your opinion deviates from the group opinion, your brain will emit certain error signal, that you did something wrong when you judged faces differently. So it's like you've done something wrong, exactly. and this is a natural... Is this an, an unconscious thing we do because we want to sort of follow the crowd? Yeah, it's a very well. automatic response. Actually, during the scanning, we already saw that when you experienced a conflict with others, your brain emitted uh, as this kind of signal. If I chose one thing it was, and the group chose something different, I actually thought, blimey, did I miss something here? Or have I, did, have I done something wrong? It's that hard-wired alarm signal in the brain that Vasily has been looking at over the last few years. And by looking at the size of that response, he can now categorise people as conformists or rebels. I just wanted to show you that here in the medial prefrontal cortex, this area is very important for learning and it drives uh, behavioural adjustments. In conformists, you see that area lights up. In non-conformists, this area doesn't respond. So all these terms like peer pressure, like following the crowd, and these things that we're all familiar with, they're actually backed up, really, by real solid data. Yeah, exactly. So we perhaps for the first time suggest a real neurobiological, neurobiological mechanism for this. So looking at the picture of my brain, am I a conformist or am I a, am I a rebel? Do I, am I a free thinker? Let's make a look. So you have a smaller, but still some activity here. So I would say that your brain activity is somewhere in between. What does he mean, somewhere in between? My rebel legend dreams shattered. But Vasily reckons he can prove his diagnosis in the final stage of the test. He reckons I can never override my annoyingly slightly conformist tendencies, so when faced with those same hundred pictures, I'll subconsciously adjust my scores closer to the group scores. Although now I can't remember any of the scores from before, I'm determined not to be influenced. And ten minutes later... OK, I'm good. I'm ready for the results. This is an index of extreme conformists. Yeah. So this kind of ch person changed a lot. In the second session, and this is a your change. So you see, you changed a bit your opinion yeah. on average, slightly in line with the group. It's a defeat. Despite my best efforts to score the faces exactly as before, I have been swayed by the group opinion, just as Vasily predicted. So tell me, why does this happen? Why is there a, perhaps a, a tendency for human beings to, to want to conform? Is there a selective reason? Because I'm a biologist, I'm very much biased by biology, and I think there is an evolutionary reason for this. Simply, the uh, group is smart. The average group opinion is better than individual opinion.